What's going on guys, Ray 20 here, and welcome back to the NASCAR Heat 2 Career Mode. So if you missed last race, we got a ride with Premium Motorsports in the 49 car, the, the Wendell Chavis Chavis car, and we somehow lucked into a 7th place finish. <laughs> it was uh, it was a pretty crazy race, but uh, if you go ahead and look here, here's us, there's Wendell, and how many races have we completed? One. How many has he been in? How many has there been so far? Four races. And I still have outscored him <laughs> by two points still. So, afterwards, we got a team offer, I think. Interested in signing. You've completed a hot seat for this team. So, uh, we might be able to sign for them. Uh, we already have an offer for Charlotte, though. And that is with Clay Greenfield Motorsports. Uh, and this is for Charlotte. So, we're going to go ahead and see what we can do in this ride. And uh, we'll, we'll see if we can maybe sign with Premium Motorsports. Well, here we go, under the lights. Oh, man. We're starting last. There must only be, uh, I guess, 31 total trucks. I could be wrong about that. But, uh, but yeah, we started 31st, which was last. Man, I got to say, I'm not I'm not sure why we get such good restarts. I guess it's just, um, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Uh, it's just for whatever reason, uh, we, we our truck is going way better than everybody else. But, um but yeah, I never, um, our second race here of our career, I never really gave a, an honest opinion of the, the gameplay. Uh, I don't know if I can really do that here very early, but I can definitely, you know, I was letting you guys know on some of the different things I was noticing in the first video. Um, and just to kind of go back to that, um, one of the biggest things, uh, the couple biggest things for me uh, is one on just the simulation mode uh, from last year which is now just the stability help off uh, the car or well the truck here it feels way better like uh, it's not difficult to run down the straight away anymore like the the truck wasn't or the car wasn't floating around it's not it's not doing any of that stuff anymore uh, you still have that you know where you, where you get into somebody and the truck will snap around but um, but it feels a lot more in the track to where you can maneuver a lot better without risk of just absolutely losing it, which, uh, in my opinion, feels a lot better. Uh, and, of course, the stage racing. The stage race racing has uh, definitely made things interesting, way more interesting than I thought it would in the first race. Um, we since then lowered the fuel and tire wear from four times to three times just because I felt the pit stops were a little bit too frequent. So, yeah, I'm not, again just the first race you can already tell like the, the I'm not sure how the AI is gonna handle the stage racing uh, I thought it was kind of goofy like the first go around so uh, again given the right circumstances I, I don't know I might uh, I don't know if they have the AI quite set up right for stage racing so I uh, like I said in NASCAR heat evolution oh boy this is this is close here uh, NASCAR heat evolution they made a lot of questionable calls when it came to uh, just pitting under caution versus under green, uh, and it set us up for a lot of, um, you know, races we probably shouldn't have won or, or done this or that, so um, I don't know if they're quite ready for stage racing yet, but um, yeah, you, we're here to figure it out. But um, other than that, obviously they've made uh, really big strides in the career mode now with the trucks, Xfinity, uh, and Cup Series, so it's made it a lot deeper, which is fantastic. Um, and it's just awesome to have the trucks and Xfinity in, in the game. Oh, here we go. Save it. Oh, we're good. Jeez. I knew that was going to happen. That's it's our second mile and a half race now. And the AI car is still kind of jerk through the trioval. So I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, the AI car is still kind of run down on the apron. They, they were at Atlanta. So I'm not a big fan of that. But... All in all, I think the, the AI cars feel, um, racing around them feel better. I'm still not a big fan of that whole trioval mess. Um, uh, we had a pretty bad instance with that in Atlanta, but, uh, oh, look at that! You can see the tire marks through the grass. That is cool. Props to NASCAR Heat for that. That is really, really cool. So, 12 laps to go here in stage number one. We're sitting 25th. Uh, pretty much the same goal here is just to bring it home 25th or better, I believe. Uh, we'll get that 10,000 bonus, but um, but yeah, this is uh, this is really cool, fighting for a ride in the truck series. 
and uh, I'm really excited for what the career mode has for us. And um, you know, again, it's just, um, just 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 with these simple little additions with the trucks and Xfinity and ranking your way up, um, it just adds so much more uh, to the career mode. So they're definitely heading in the right direction now. If they could add some more stuff, man, give us some. Um, I know there, there was a big talk about the career mode and the stats and different things uh, that they weren't going to keep track of um, our stats. So I don't know if we'll, we'll get a patch for that or, or not. But um, but yeah, I mean, if they can continue working on the career mode and the depth of it, man, they're already heading in the right direction. Um, I got to say, I was talking about it in the um, the eSports video, the tournament from Richmond. Uh, I was talking about it there. And I, I really do believe that um, I really think uh, the whole NASCAR franchise games are heading in the right direction with the... Uh, NASCAR Heat in 704. So, again, I'm really excited, man. I'm just, uh, just scratching the surface here with NASCAR Heat 2. Uh, and you can definitely feel uh, a good bit of improvement throughout the game. Man, we're digging, trying to catch some of these guys back. <laughs> we're, we're digging. We're, uh, we're not making it very far. I think we've got, we might have a little bit more speed than we did last week. I don't know going around here in the bottom uh, another thing is it's really cool to see that um, some of these guys are really spacing out a little bit more I guess it's because uh, it's the truck series there's not there's not quite as many drivers but uh, that was one thing I again we'll still have to play with but like yeah one of the biggest things that always pissed me off about Dover uh, when I would run there in the career mode is that like if I started from the back if I had a bad qualifying run or something happened I started in the back uh, they would just sit there double file the entire race, and it was so impossible to like do anything about it. Um, but here, that you know, they spaced out a good bit. We got a three-car pack up there, and then I mean, there's a pretty good jumble there. But um, it seems to space out pretty good. So again, you know, this is this is only a second race. Um, that's one of the biggest things. I got. I don't. I don't want to give you all these opinions and this and that, uh, all about the game when this is really only my second race. So. Uh, I'm, I'm figuring this out um, live right here in the video, uh, as you'll see it. So, um, and of course, uh, all the other all the other guys uh, recording and uh, doing videos on the game. So, uh, hopefully, we'll be able to form a pretty good opinion on the game from everybody else doing um, doing reviews and, and just kind of playing the game and figuring it out as everybody goes. So, oh man, okay, so we are not uh, <laughs> stage racing. I love it. We're not going to make it on fuel. I really wish I would have caught that sooner. But we're not going to make it on fuel. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's any hope we can save here. So We're going to make our first green flag pit stop of the year, I guess. We're just going to try to gas and go and make it to the end of the stage here. We got uh, two, three guys coming in already. And there's a huge string of them right there. Oh, is there any chance that we can... Oh, no, there's no way. Man, I wish I would have caught that sooner. Oh, yeah, we're two, three laps short. We have to come in this time. All right, gas and go. We're going to see uh, see what we can do here. First green flag pit stop. I'm holding my breath that uh, we'll be able to get in here without uh, crashing horribly like an NASCAR Heat Evolution. I haven't made a green flag pit stop yet, so. Oh, man. I love y'all NASCAR heat. I was able to jump on the brakes with the car with without just absolutely losing it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, half a can of fuel, no tires, no damage. That should uh, get us to the end of the stage here. We might be able to pick up a couple of spots. Oh, man, that's really interesting. So I'm assuming that pit road closes how many laps was that there was that two to go because usually the pit road closes two to go um before the stage that's going to be really interesting if fuel runs out before the stage and pit roads close and nobody can get on yeah again another another possible issue with the stage racing oh look at us we're gonna cycle up though the third maybe second oh man who's the leader oh yeah here you go bump draft let's get it Oh, man, we're going to get blown by so bad. Don't do it. Don't do it. There you go. Is this, uh, are we coming to the white flag, or? I would imagine this but got to be pretty close. Oh, yeah, I'm here driving. Two to go. All right. How much fuel we got? Oh, look at 
look at us up front. Oh my god, we hit a bump. Come on, turn, turn, turn. Here we go. Okay, yeah, we're, we're just good to make it to the end here. Oh, can I block and win a stage? Probably not. Yeah, that's a lot of lanes to block. Let's get the bottom here. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're tight. We're tight. Block. No. Okay. It was fun for it was fun for a lap or two. Whoa. Okay. Yep. Yep. I, th I think we're actually going to win some stage points, though. Oh, shoot. Yeah. We're just figuring this stage racing out. Guess and go. Although, this is pretty much going to kill us here for the... Uh, the next stage, but that's okay. We'll use that and then we'll uh, set up for stage three, so. Here we go, coming out of turn four. Is this the white flag or we still got one more? It better be the white flag because I'm about to lose no spot. And there it is. Look at us! Winning some stage points. All right. There's seven extra ones right there. Sweet. So, with that, we're going to go ahead and come down and lose all of our spots. We're going to repair any damage we have, four tires and fuel, and we're going to loosen this thing up a little bit. <laughs> all right. Well, yep, it was fun. There went all of our spots. Beck lost 25 spots. Oh, boy. Well, let's just set up here for the start. Yeah, they might need to fix the AI starts a little bit. Um, again, every single restart I've gotten, I've gained at least, like, five spots. Ooh, that was close. All right, so start at stage number two. Yeah, I gotta say, stage racing is, uh... uh that was, again, that was something I never really took into consideration for the gameplay. Uh, and how that would uh, affect things, but, uh... Yeah, it's definitely made things pretty interesting, I'll tell you that. Uh, it's just even more interesting. Oh man, this is uh, this is pretty darn fun. I gotta say. Um, again, there's uh, there's just there's just more to it, man. There's more to the career mode. I'm excited. The gameplay, again, feels you can you can definitely feel improvements, which is good. And I can definitely kind of bounce off AI cars here and there and um, be okay. It seems without fear of just. The card is absolutely losing it, so. Jennifer Joe. Bump draft. I couldn't tell if I actually hit her there or not. I'll hit her here. There you go, give her a good shot going off into the corner. Okay, that's my that's my only other problem right there. So I was pushing her off into the corner and then she does like that whole like AI thing where it's yeah, she's just like absolutely unmovable once you go off into the corner. So while I'm still pushing her there, realistically I should have pushed her off into the corner and she would have slid up and crashed or did some sort of something. But instead, I just kind of like... It's like basically NASCAR Heat Evolution when you would push somebody and it would pretty much like slow you down. Um, yeah, so I'm not a big fan of that. But... Let's see here. i just keep it wide open on the high side here. Trying to get a sniff a little bit of side draft there. Again, I'm not sure really how the... The side draft works at uh, at the mile and a half. So, it, 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 so far, I've tried it a little bit, and it hasn't seemed to be that effective. Um, I haven't really looked into it all too terribly much. Like, right? Okay, I wasn't quite there, but eh. yeah, I wish we had a little bit more power. We could really find out. Uh, I guess it'll be a lot more noticeable. At Daytona Tal, there you go. It definitely really helps when you <laughs> when just drive on the side of them. That'll probably slow them down. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell there. Oh, through the middle. I saw a gap. Oh, I just kept my foot in it. Oh, this is going to get ugly. Okay. I like the fact that I can still kind of like hug the AI car when I start getting loose. That, uh, ooh. Yeah, that helped me. Uh, that saved my life right there. There you go. Ah, uh, nowhere to go with it. Oh, bump draft. Down the straightaway. Come on, get it. Okay. Yeah, see? Yeah. Okay. So it kind of makes sense where I push him ahead there. I don't know if it, it should be that much of an effect there. Like, no doubt I pushed him right there, but... I don't know. It's like you just barely touch him and it just launches him. 
and it there's no it's like there's no chance for me to really like lock on and push him down the straightaway. Uh, again, something we'll have to experiment with more, but like, oh, we have a caution. I just like something with the mile and a half. So like you know, you, you gradually get the run coming out of the corner. We don't have much speed to really like nail them anyways, but uh, you're coming out of the corner, and you just barely kind of get in the back of them, and it just like launches them. Uh, there's like this huge draft effect. So I'm not sure if I agree with that, but um, yeah, just kind of something to note there. We're gonna come in four fresh tires of fuel. Let's get it again. All right, so we lost a lot of spots there, but um, yeah, let's see here. Check your belts. Uh, I'm not sure um, where we're sitting here. So we got eight to go. What's the fuel run looking like? Oh, maybe he's there. Okay, 17 laps. So, um, oh god, we're st stacking up. Uh, we're not gonna get a caution, are we? <laughs> uh, all right. Well, okay, that's understandable. I kind of self-spun there towards the apron. Okay, I'm I'm a low-budget team. I you know I wouldn't. I don't got the money to pay pay off the officials to to get a cosh every time I slip up. That's okay. All right, yeah. There's another small issue I have, and that's uh, basically just like NASCAR hit evolution uh, when a car would just kind of randomly have an issue, and they would just be way off the pace and kind of sit there around the bottom. All the AI cars would just stack up. Sometimes it would help you out. It happened in Atlanta a couple times. Sometimes, you know, it would help you out a lot, cool and all, but other times like that, there's just like nothing really you can do, and it just, you know, it just kind of screws up the entire field right there. So, yeah. If they can make it probably to where, you know, they pulled off or something like that, or, you know, AI cars actually tried to miss them or tried to avoid the slow cars and stuff. That might cause more issues anyways, but, uh, but yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, there's just really much I could do there. So a lot of guys already pitting. Uh, we can make it to the end of the stage here, so we actually might, I don't know, we might, to be honest, yeah, we really don't need to pit. I was going to set myself up here for the final, final stage, but, oh, man, I don't know. This actually... Honestly, this might work out better for us if we stay out. Just because if we're if we're able to cycle up here and get some more stage points, and then we can pit later than these guys. Um, but unfortunately, yeah, we're on the final lap here, so um, I still want to test my theory. We're gonna come down here and see if we can pit. I don't know if we'll make it in time for the top ten crosses, but. Either way, I want to set myself up for the final stage, and we didn't make it. All right, well, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, it's hard to say, but, I mean, those guys are pitting with, like, two to go, one to go, so um, I don't think pit road closes, which is uh, another interesting note. All right, so we were the last car on the lead lap. Uh, we pretty much gained, uh, our, well, we're still 15th. Uh, one car on the lead lap. Uh, one car got the free pass. So we're now 16 on the lead lap. Wendell up here. 20. Uh, excuse me. 25 to go. Uh, we're not going to be able to make it on fuel, but we're going to try to get it here. Again, not many on the lead lap, so we're sitting good with that. But, uh, oh boy. There you go. Now the yeah, cars finally get kind of strung out and get going. Let me figure out how slow we are. Oh, man, the car is, the truck seems to progressively have gotten tighter over the run. That's something I noticed with Atlanta. I'm not sure if, I, if it's just me going crazy or if that's actually a thing. But uh, that was one thing I definitely noticed. And I think it seems to be the same way here. I'm not sure. It's definitely hitting those bumps really hard. And it's really moving the truck up the hill. Oh, boy. Man, we're so, like... <laughs> You know, we're not too bad for like a lap or two, but man, this is after a while. Oof. Oh boy. They sent it off in there, but man, we ain't got nothing off. Oh, there we go. We might find a new line right there. 
Head it up high. Oh, give me some side drafts. Yeah, right there. See, I feel like it's not. Uh, I feel like I got up there and it didn't really affect him too much. I feel like it hurt me more than anything. There you go. Yeah, just hold it wide open. Man. And all the fast trucks coming through. Man, listen to the revs he's hitting. Jeez, these guys coming around. They got them things strung out way more than what we got going on here. It's like we're on a Sunday cruise compared to them guys. Must be nice to be in a top ride. That's what I get from going from like quarter midgets right to NASCAR. Or no. Orca, Kanan, late models. Is, boom. Oh, we got some guys pitting. I guess he's not going to be able to make it to the end. Yeah, those guys. Uh, they're going to be close, like two laps short, but they're not going to be able to make it. Again, there's the whole AI strategy with the stage racing. Uh, I mean, it's hard to tell, like, what, you know, pretty much how they got to that point, whether they would have been able to strategize around it or not, but uh, we'll see how many of these guys... Yep. Yep. They're not going to be able to make it. They're not going to be able to make it. So if we go green. <laughs> oh, boy. We're, um, well. Oh, boy. <laughs> Alrighty, so we are in our fuel window. We are about 15. Come, yeah, coming to 15 to go here, so. We're in a fuel window. We're going to go ahead and come down and put tires and fuel on there. There we go. All right. Oh, 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 a little wiggly. Not too bad, though. That, that pit road entry feels way better. Uh, full fuel, four tires, no damage. Um, again, I'm pretty confident most everybody who pit, they're not going to be able to make it. So we're going to see how this cycles. I'm gonna pray to God that we don't get a caution, but uh, yeah, we're. Uh, I hate this game. <laughs> oh man, that's gonna that's gonna work out for us. Only five on the lead lap. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm already on pit road here. Do not pit. Okay, that's a little goofy. Uh, all right. Uh, do, yeah, do not pit. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna let the time run. Uh, oh. Six on the lead lap. Wendell Chavis, Corbin Forrester, Austin Wayne, Self, Myatt Snyder, and Todd Gilden. Oh boy. Oh boy. Eleven laps to go, and we're leading. <laughs> oh my God. An NASCAR heat too. So it begins. Well, I still don't even think we're going to win. I know Todd Gillen, I would imagine he's going to be pretty fast, Mike Snyder. Um, okay, so... Uh, Wendell. Wendell just blew by us. Time to hang it up. Oh, boy. Yeah, right there, I kind of like hit him in the center of the corner, and again, it just like slows me way down. Alright, and yeah, we're just going to hold on. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I don't... Okay. Yeah, you see, these guys got going real fast, and they got in the draft. Uh, okay, here's Snyder here. We're going to try to block a little bit. Oh, boy. That is going to be an interesting final 10 laps here. Oh, man, the truck is tight. Uh, C. Bell isn't even on the lead lap. Don't believe it. Yeah, he's seventh. Seventh now on the lead lap. Nine to go. We're sitting third. Oh, just clipped him. Come on. Come on. It's a side draft. There you go. Pull me around. Man, does the track look smoky or is it just me? I'm tired, man. I've been up for quite a while, but there's something going on with the lights there. It makes everything look kind of... Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, yeah. Woo! And we're going to get run over. Brace for impact. All right, we're good. We're still only in fourth. Look at that shit. Oh man, what a what an interesting race. This is about what I expected from NASCAR Heat 2. 
Yeah, so... I gotta say, the... the uh, I bring it up again. The AI logic wasn't great in NASCAR Heat Evolution when it came to strategy. And now they had the stage racing. And it doesn't seem to be much better, so... Uh, hopefully we see a tweak to help the AI a little bit when it comes to strategy calling, just to better set, them, set, set themselves up for the for the win because you know if this stage racing keeps up there's a good chance there's going to be a lot of people looking to win based just off of fuel strategy especially when you have the tire wear and everything up because it sits um you know like you're, you're running out of fuel right before the, the the end of the stage so you know and st some of the stuff under caution you know if they don't pit under the caution uh, it screws them up for later um, that was one of the biggest things for NASCAR Heat Evolution. They just, like, half the time they would never pit under caution. And they would pit under green and lose all kinds of laps. And it, it would set up, like, five people in the lead lap. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I definitely think they're probably going to need to fix that a little bit. Because my my bet is that we get up into the Cup Series. Well, even, even this, there's just going to be a lot of random winners. Like, Austin Wayne Self is up there leading with Wendell Chavis. <laughs> I'm sure uh, Snyder will probably get by him towards the end, but I mean, still. Oh, they're trying to hold on, man. Oh, we are so slow. It's okay. None of <laughs> these guys are on the little lap. We're, uh, again, we got the thing okay through the corner. We hit the straightaway. Like, holy crap, we are slow. Look at that. It just drives away from us easily. Well... Coming to the white flag, I do believe. Last lap, Corbin Forrester is, oh boy. He's somewhere, he's a half a second behind us. I don't quite see him, other than that. We're looking pretty good. This is going to be a career day for us, and probably a career day for this team. Chase Briscoe up the middle. This is broken to hell. Still digging. Oh boy. Oh boy, we got some stage points, and we're going to end up with a top five in our second career race. Did he just ask me how I did that? Oh boy. All right, well, pretty interesting. <laughs> pretty interesting, that's all I'll say. So we'll look at the finishing results. Austin Wayne Self with the win. Mine Snyder, Snyder second there. Um, yeah, not a lot of people on the lead lap, but uh, we brought it home a career best fourth place finish. Six on the lead lap. Two races in. <laughs> We're third to last now. We're ahead of Spencer Boyd and Wendell Chavis. 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 Nice job with that top 25 finish. Thanks. Top five finish, but that's cool. We'll keep you in mind for a ride. Like, really? You're going to put me in there. We expect, we we hope that you finish in the top 25 and you come home fourth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep you in mind. Like, really? That's the best. I'm the best driver you will ever get anywhere close to your, your, your team. All right. It is simming for us. And check for hot seat offer. Who we got? Who we got? Yeah, that's right. We better get another offer. Who we got this time? Uh, Mart Martins Motorsports. This is uh, Tommy Joe. Tommy Joe Martins. Top 25 finish. We'll race that later. So now we got two teams interested in signing. Uh, of course, we got Premium Motorsports and Clay Greenfield Motorsports. So I'm not 100% sure why I can't sign with them. Uh, I was kind of hoping just to sign with a crap team early and just kind of you know, build with that team, but, um, I guess we're sticking with the single, you know, just the back and forth different teams here, so, uh, so yeah, we'll figure it out, we're still figuring it out as we go, uh, I'll end it here, we're on to Dover, next race, all right, well, Dover is probably my most hated, one of my most tra hated tracks in NASCAR Heat Evolution, so, uh, we'll get some time on that, but, uh, but yeah, that'll do for me, I appreciate you guys, as always, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, it helps me out a ton, uh, without ado, like I said, appreciate y'all, and I'll see you guys in the next video.